Pulse Secure Profiler, taking visibility to the next level. Today, I want to show you what kind of visibility you can expect from Profiler. Pulse Profiler will detect and classify all endpoints. It continuously monitors these devices inside and outside the network, providing a unique view of device information through a single pane of glass, unlike any of our competitors. Security starts with visibility. Visibility is made possible by discovery. Pulse Secure Profiler is well equipped with a variety of effective discovery methods. This includes both passive and active collectors. For example, passive methods could include SNMP, DHCP, and SPAN. Often these methods initiate the discovery of new devices. For instance, as endpoint access occurs, the network access device will send a trap indicating its IP address and the port or SSID being accessed by the endpoint. Profiler then retrieves the endpoint MAC address from the network access device. It can then correlate the MAC address with ARP table information to determine the endpoint's IP address. Once Profiler has the endpoint IP address, it's possible to perform more granular profiling using active methods like NMAP, WMI, or SSH. Leveraging both active and passive collectors gives Profiler the ability to report on critical endpoint information, including when an endpoint has accessed or exited the network, where the device has accessed the network, what type of device it is, and many other details, and who, if it's a user device, is logged on. In this brief demonstration, I'll show you exactly how Pulse Secure Profiler answers these questions. Let's start by reviewing how to navigate to the Profiler menus. Within PPS, Profiler has its own submenu. This allows you to quickly navigate to either the configuration of Profiler or to the dashboard and reports. Taking a look at the dashboard gives you a complete snapshot of what type of devices are in your network and how they're connected, whether local or remote. The dashboard also provides visibility as to the pace of growth, seen as devices added in the last day, week, or month. Other key data points include managed and unmanaged devices. In other words, what percentage of the devices are running Pulse desktop client? This demo environment is IoT and network device heavy. That's why our managed device percentage is low. Profile groups are a powerful feature of Profiler. Devices can be grouped based on group name, and rules for easy access and identification. Group names can be used within role mapping rules, resource policies, and filtering. Leveraging profile groups allows PPS to enforce granular access control over all your IoT devices. Let's take a moment and demonstrate Profiler's filter and search capabilities. First of all, the dashboard chart elements are all dynamic links. Clicking on any element within the dashboard automatically opens the device discovery report, filtering on whatever element you chose. This greatly accelerates your ability to find and focus on specific groups or individual endpoints. Now let's clear the filter and show you the search functionality. Basic search allows us to query on any value under the column header. Common search examples include hostname, category, or operating system. Let's try searching for Linux. As you can see, several endpoints are found under both operating system and category. Let's drill down into one of these endpoints so we can get a better idea of what valuable data Profiler is gathering. Let's highlight what we can see at a glance. DHCP options, which Profiler evaluates against its vast fingerprint database to better classify endpoints. Switch IP address, port, and when connected. This tells us when and where the endpoint is physically located in the network and NMAP is showing port 22 is open, meaning SSH is available. If Profiler can log into this endpoint using the corporate credentials, that demonstrates it's an enterprise-owned asset. Other details include session active. This confirms an authenticated connection via Pulse desktop client, a native supplicant, or MAC authentication. Okay, now let's search for an example of a Windows endpoint. We're only going to focus here on additional information we learn about Windows through WMI. Let's drill into this Windows 10 endpoint right now. As you can see, Profiler collects valuable Windows-specific properties that include 
exact operating system version, logged in username and domain. It retrieves supported security product details. It includes name, status, and specific version of those products. And it also collects every process running on the endpoint. So what if we want to do a search on multiple properties using operators and or wildcards? This is what the advanced search is for. For example, let's say we want to know how many non-domain endpoints are on the network. We can do a search for all Windows endpoints without WMI attributes. Now we can take a look at how we leverage these basic and advanced search techniques to craft useful profile groups. In this example profile group, we can use our recent search for non-domain Windows endpoints. By default, the profile is configured for auto approval. Optionally, we can require a manual approval and even provide an email notification if desired. Now that we've created this new profile group, as discussed earlier, you can view these new custom profile groups from the dashboard. Clicking on the profile group will launch the device discovery report, filtering on that group. As we can see, these devices are now unapproved. Remember, we configured this profile for manual approval and email notification. Let's check our email. Here we are presented with information specific to the endpoint. Additionally, this email has several built-in linked buttons, notably approved device or unapproved device, as appropriate. In this case, we will select approved device. Now as we recheck the non-domain Windows profile group, within the device discovery report, we can see that the device is now approved. Hopefully, we've demonstrated in the last several minutes, Pulse Secure Profiler provides comprehensive visibility for all of your network devices, both local and remote. This visibility using device attributes or groups can be directly mapped to roles, which Pulse Policy Secure uses to enforce granular network access control. For more information on Pulse Secure Profiler, please visit our website at pulsesecure.net. Thank you for your time.